What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fatson back with episode two, No Man's Sky. Last episode, we made it off the starting planet, and we ended up here to New Ovo, Ovi. And uh, we have this signal here. We got to go see what's going on. We got to go see what's going on. I believe we can uh, follow the coordinates and find the signal source, pilot towards the coordinate marker, and engage pulse drive with space. Pulse drive will autopilot to coordinate markers. So it's just going to do what we need to do. Uh, our fuel is also a little low. Beautiful. Okay. We don't want to go in upside down. I wish I could, like, look around. Like, in the cockpit. I know that No Man's Sky does have VR. Um... That would be cool. That'd be cool to try out. This is a pretty desolate planet. Okay, we're coming in. Coming a little, little, little hot, little hot. Slow down, slow down, partner. We, we've gone too far. Turn it around. <laughs> Turn it around. Just land it. I saw land with E. Don't think I didn't notice it. Another, like, hot planet. Why? It's not a bad spot. I can hear my son. He's not having a good time. There might be a dad break in this video. Sparking wires of the machine generated signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher that. Decoding. No fuel, failed to reach station, hazard protection low. No choice but to go underground. Base computer and terrain manipulator. Ooh, the base computer will hold more information about whatever is leaving these messages. We know our plan. We gotta build a base computer with chromatic metal. All right. And a terrain manipulator, which doesn't look that hard to make. We, we have the stuff for that. So select terrain manipulator in here. And return. Let's go. And the terrain manipulator is a multi-tool upgrade. Allows mining of valuable ores direct from the earth. Terrain manipulator reshapes the world. Digging tunnels or creating new land masses. Definitely have not done that. Let's uh, let's install it. So we need dihydrogen jelly. There's some, like, right there. What is down there, though? Terrain manipulation required. Oh, uh, you know what? I just realized from... Uh, the, uh, the last episode. If we had the terrain manipulator, we would have been able to get the, uh, the, the cache that was underground. I understand now. Okay, luckily there's like a whole schwack of this stuff lying around. Okay. Craft the jelly. Craft carbon nanotubes. So we need carbon. Okay. How my, how's my mining beam actually doing? I think it's a good time to like just dump this carbon into it so that we uh, we're in a good spot with it. Okay, so carbon. 
It, the same thing. I didn't think I was like in a spot where that trap of a plant got me. Turns out I'm wrong. It still got me. <laughs> I wonder if these are carbon. Feels like we're on the exact same planet, by the way. It definitely did not look like it. What are you? I don't know if I should be scared of that thing or not. Please give me carbon. You give me carbon and lots of it. Okay, you, you give me some, anyway. Enough that I'm gonna blow up these, like, flesh balloons that are sitting here. It feels like it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I also don't want to put all of that in there. I think we want to build the carbon nanotubes. Can I stack them? You can stack them. All right, now come over here. Come over here. There we go. We got the terrain manipulator now. Ooh. If I, now if I come over here, how do I change weapons? Activate, G changes weapons. All right, all right. Now there was a deposit like right here, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, it got very red. <laughs> Flatten, restore, mine, okay. Oh my god. Yo, this is so much fun, though. Okay, what? I don't know what deposit I would need next. Gather copper. Is that the, uh, this one? It, it must be. Just really quick, I'm gonna hop into this right here to recharge my suit. I don't know why I got so red. Also, if there's no copper like immediately around, nothing is saying that I'm not allowed to use the spaceship, right? Okay, scan. Looking for copper. Cobalt, cargo drop, cobalt, phosphorus, what is that? Fireberry seems dangerous. Hazardous flora, cargo. There, there's no, there, there's no uh, copper around here. So we're, we're gonna take like a little, we're gonna take a little uh, strolly stroll. What is the, okay, so I gotta know what the, the square is. I wonder if it's those ships. Well, isn't this interesting? Oh God, I'm still not used to the controls. All right, yep. It says not enough fuel. That That's a problem. Phosphorus deposit. Cargo pad, cargo pad, cargo pad. 
cargo pad. I gotta know what's in here, though. This thing seems super sus to be in. Which is exactly why I want to go here. Look at this thing. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if this was a good idea. <laughs> oh no. We can get up there. We can get up there. Okay, read, read the log. What, what, what happened here? Life goes on day after day. Dropping on a warp there is these sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. Sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. Sentinels have departed. There's a distress signal. 16 on repeat, huh? Well, we may as well change that, right? Salvage materials from the wreck. That's our ship. What is this thing? Call Starship. Uh, I don't know what it does, and we don't have a navigation data. I'm watching our temperature. I'm hoping it goes down as we go inside here. Oh, I'm on the terrain manipulator. There we go. Now we're in. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. What do you got for me, cargo pod? You need sodium. Sodium, huh? I don't see like anything out here at all though. So the sodium might be a problem. Scanner's recharging. All right. Um, locate cargo. Where is the cargo though? Understood. Let's get a better, uh, better view from up top here, you know? Oh, all the cargo is in like here. It's all in the ship, the crash ship, that makes sense. We found one already too, did we not? Yeah, we definitely did. Like, this is what we need to find here. And we need, like, a ton of sodium to open them. Hmm. Locate pods with the analysis visor. Dig up with terrain manipulator. Silicate powder. Clearly I'm not like looking for the right, no I definitely am looking for the right things. But I need, what is that? It's moving. 
I need something to open them. Like, there's one under here. This is where it's telling me, like, you gotta mine your way down here. Can I, can I get in here now? No. I can, I can reach it now though, right? Yeah, okay. Sodium again. I need like 30 sodium though. And I gotta be honest, like I am kind of looking at it like, what if we just do the Minecraft approach and see if we can't find something like down below? There's a building. Of course there's a building. Why wouldn't there be? I'm on top of a giant spaceship. Okay, well, this plan did not work. <laughs> like at all. So, come up here. Scan. Literally nothing around, huh? Well, I tell ya. That, uh, that puts a damper on the old planarinos. How are we gonna find 30 sodium? Well, there's some there, so that's good. That's not gonna give us 30, though. It gave us actually like more than I thought, uh, to be honest, so I'm not gonna say no. There's some right there. Okay, we, we got some sodium. We can get these things open. Also, this thing right here, can we open it? Can't open that. We can search this, though. And it gave us sodium nitrate. Which I'm, uh, I'm fairly happy about. I think that's what it gave us. Yeah, sodium nitrate. Don't know what to do with that yet. Okay, you guys were, were friends, right? You would have attacked me, I'm sure. There's a lot of sodium here, though. I am not complaining. Because we need sodium as well for our, uh, our uh, exosuit. What is that? It's a fireberry. Condensed carbon? Sure. Okay, some sodium here and there and everywhere. I, I see this and what is this? Phosphorus, okay. Not gonna worry about phosphorus. I know I'm getting like a lot of sodium here, but we have the room, right? Like we're at 110, we need 30 for the cargo. We might only be able to get the cargo open on this episode. Um, but hey, it's still better than nothing. These scare me. They seem bad. They seem bad. I can't, uh, no, no. Use the mining beam. Get destroyed. Uh, we also need to recharge you. Condensed carbon, let's go. 
We are in a good spot. Not a great spot for that. I thought I could make that jump. <laughs> I thought I... Uh, okay, I actually need to, like, heal now. Because I'm a big dumb. There we go. So, sodium nitrate is just a stronger sodium in the game. Do I need to activate... Uh, where is it? Catalog, log, log, right? I guess I need to reactivate that. Okay. Let's go locate our cargo. You definitely do not seem like a good creature. You seem hostile. You, you need to go. <laughs> You're rolling away. Okay. What? 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 what what's the sentinel? I, I don't understand. Fluorophonal minerals. All right, we're we're gonna find out on our own, I guess. Don't attack me, and I won't attack you. That's the rules. We're good. Why do I have a feeling we're not actually good? <laughs> oh, that thing's going to come back to bite me and try to kill me. Okay, so we got six cargo pods in here that we got to rescue. There's the one that we, uh, we discovered underneath, which was like right in here, right? Yeah, let, let's start with this one. Rusted freighter package. I don't know what any of that means, so... What? The, the thing is radioactive? What? Oh, okay. So, help these people out, but by the way, our cargo is radioactive? Thanks. That's all I gotta say to that. Okay, run away, I guess. This I'm a little upset at that. There's one right there. Just run away from the cargo pods that are radioactive. Isn't it? This one isn't? It, it definitely is. Okay, when you when you access it, it becomes radioactive. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see, there's one there. Where are the rest? One there, and one right there. Let's do this one first. I think we're going to have to, like, find this one. Yeah. I wonder if you can get stuck. Hello, damage panel. This is very, uh, very interesting how you have to, like, find them this way. Okay, give me your nanites. And then run away from 
the radioactivity. Beautiful. Could not have gone better. One right up there. Ish. No, sort of up here. Right down there. Okay. Time to manipulate some terrain. I don't know what hurt me there. How did you get under here is my big question. Wheatley from Portal 2... There's like an invisible rock here. You see it? There we go. There we go. Stupid invisible rocks. Thank you for the nanites. And the radioactive response. All right, one more, and then we're done with this uh, side quest. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. I know it's not the main quest, but look, I'm going to be doing side quests periodically, okay? Did I walk by it? No, it's another underground boy. Is it an underground boy? I was going the wrong way underground. There's no way it's this far down. Yeah. Yeah. I barely missed that. Holy. Of course, the door to the thing, excuse me, where is it underneath? Is it up top? Um, excuse me, where is... Where's your door, though? Oh, there it is. I must have missed it. Strange. Okay. Grab this. Forget which way I need to go and try not to die from the radiation. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Was there anything else I needed to do on that one? No, that was it. Just the... Uh, the nanites, I guess. So now we need to collect or make chromatic metal. And we do so by getting copper. Humming sack. What the hell is humming sack? We have to see what a humming sack is. We don't actually have to, but uh, curiosity, you know? I feel like this is a terrible idea, by the way. Oh, you can, you can tag. Is it? Does it keep it? I thought you just needed to tap. It totally does. Why was I not doing this before?
Okay. Where's my humming sack, though? Cargo drop. Ooh, copper deposit right there. Two of them. Yeah, okay, okay, just run through, run through. Make it, make it, make it. Oh, okay. It's not good. We gotta get the copper, though. Well, that's good. Cargo, where, where the hell did... Oh, it's right there, okay. It's actually, like, forever away, though. And I'm gonna live my life permanently in this cave. Apparently. So, let's make our way out. Uh, and let's, let's tag it. Makes sense. Hello, sunshine. Weird that I missed the, uh, the copper deposit there. Well, that was close. What the hell was that? This is such a weird game, okay? Uh, we need to get fuel as well at some point for our ship, which I believe is the, uh, the pure ferrite. But at least we can, uh, we can make our own cave now in the event of a storm, which is kind of fun. It's weird that the terrain is taking like, like this right here. Not really much of an excuse for that, to be honest with you. This is on an NVMe solid state drive. It should not be like waiting to load anything. Uh, also, I have 64 gigs of RAM on this computer, so should be okay is what I'm saying. All right, game. This one's on you, not on me. So I think we just need to mine it, right? It's pretty. I don't know how much copper we need. We have to refine it though. That's a lot of copper. It's a lot of very pixelated copper thanks to, for whatever reason, I don't even know why it's doing that. Um, process copper to create chromatic metal. Deploy refiner from the build menu. Let's go. Throw that in. Where's my copper, though? There's my copper input, and let's begin. I need 30. We're gonna get 75, but I suspect we're probably gonna need chromatic metal for something else, so. I don't know where I'm gonna build the base computer to. I'm probably, here's what I'm gonna do, is probably get this done, and there we go, grab this, put in my exosuit, grab this back. Let's go back to the ship but for the ship, I know I need... You get out of here. Uh, for the ship, I know I need... Fuel. So I need... Ferrite dust. For it. To make pure ferrite. There we go. I don't know if that's enough, so let's just do one more. Let's, uh, let's just get what we can here. I'd rather have too much than not enough, you know? Journey milestone accomplished. Ooh, what did we do? We traveled 8,000 units. Let's go. That's a single star achievement. We traveled across this planet that... Uh, 
is barely loading textures for some reason. Uh, also, we need to heal. Where are you? Oxygen. Sodium. Let's go. I love recharging technology. It's what I love to do. I really don't like how these textures are not loading properly. It's actually becoming distracting. I'm going to look up what's causing that on the uh, for the next episode. Because it should not be happening. And as far as I know, I did not install this on uh, my long-term storage drive, like my actual hard drive. So, like, that's weird, right? That's weird. That's all sorts of funky. Your wheat? I got it. Okay. If, if a giant sandworm comes and eats us, it's a good end to the episode. Nope, apparently we're okay. All right, so you, the starship needs fuel. Yeah. Uranium or launch fuel? How do I make launch <laughs> fuel? I got it so wrong though. Um. Well, here's the thing. There's uranium, like, over here. Because it said it's found in radioactive areas, right? And those cargo holds had uranium in them. So correct me if I'm wrong, but can I not... get uranium from these tar cargo units? I actually have no idea. We're going to find out. Now it's no longer radioactive. Did I do something absolutely atrocious throughout this whole thing? I gotta know. Did, did I screw this up royally? No, just the, just the one. Okay. Okay, so... For the launch fuel... What is going on? We're, we're just going to ignore that for now. Warp cell, selenium, ferrite dust. So we needed metal plating. Uh, I got to like lose something though. So metal plating. I feel like I can get rid of some of this though. Can I transfer it? No. I wonder if I can put it in the ship. The the whole ground shaking by the way. Uh I actually was like, yo, the the wheat was a worm. The wheat was a worm, and I'm upset about it. Actually, exit here for a second. So, I, I can make things here. Okay, so here I need dihydrogen. And I have four. How? Oh, you, you, right, you just find it. There's no way that that thing was, like, shaking everything. Hmm. 
No way. Okay, that should be enough, right? So now if I come back over here and... Ah, oh man, I don't know what to drop here. Like, I have no idea what's good or bad. Crystal Fragment. I guess I can go by units. Oop, 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 oop. How do I... How do you drop something? You can transfer to your ship. You just need to use the right buttons. Got it, okay. So we don't actually need to drop anything. We can actually just transfer. I love it. I love it. So come up here. Back to the exosuits. Go there. Um, I need 40 dihydrogen though. I thought I needed like 14. <laughs> uh. Hopefully there's enough here. There definitely is not. Wonderful. Oh, there's like some right there. Sometimes you're supposed to look to your left and not your right. Oh, there's a lot here. Oh, no problem. Okay, now we come here. Now we've got the fuel. Now we've got the fuel. I don't even remember what our main quest here is. Oh, we gotta establish the base. That's right, and I didn't wanna do it here. That's also right. Let's go, okay. Let's go back to... where we were initially. What is that, though? I don't actually remember where we were initially. So we're going to go, like, right here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, land it. Dude, what have I done? Oh, drift it. Drift it. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Did I land on the pad? Oh, we landed on the pad. Let's go, though. I don't know what that does, but I am excited about it. I got it. Okay. Look, we. I'm going to spend like 150 hours on here if I don't end it right here. We're going to build our base computer. Um, how do I cycle? I feel like this needs to be not on the ground. Okay, I don't know what this does. Searching cartographic archives. Claim site. This is my site now. I understand. So it's a flag. It, it's it's a high-tech flag. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's going to do it for 
the episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a like and a sub. Means world to me. It can also be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jonas Fatson, where I will be streaming No Man's Sky, hopefully sometime in the near future. I'm also on Twitter and at you, or sorry, I'm on Twitter at uh, Jonas Fatson, or you can find me also on YouTube at Jonas Restores, where I take a look at restoring broken and old consoles for fun. It's a great time. Next video is a PSP. So go check it out. Love you guys. Lots. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace out.